Hi there, everyone. Excuse my voice, it's getting kind of late here. But I've had several requests for a large flat objects to scan a large flat object akin to a car hood or a bumper or something to that effect. I don't have such things here that I can scan, but I do have a lot of old TV chassis, and they have a lot of dimples, depressions, projections, and screw holes, and all the kind of things you might be looking for. Well, here's the scans that I got. Um, I'm going to dwell on these quite a bit because I'm hoping I'm showing enough detail for you guys. I think it's pretty incredible myself, uh, the kind of scans I was getting. I have a limitation with my hands, my arms, my hips, my knees, and my feet. <laughs> I'm very unstable physically everywhere. I have a hard time staying stationary, being stationary, making smooth movements without jerkiness. Uh, both shoulders, if I extend them uh, so far in one direction, they'll pop and cause the thing to jerk, cause my scanner hand to jerk, and then I screw up the scan and have to start over. But nearly all of my scans, I'm sure you've seen them, the ones that turn out really good are the ones I do in a stationary setup with fixed biting and uh, the turntable, usually. Sometimes I do uh, a manually operated scan if I can stabilize myself so I'm not shaking all over. But uh, still, I don't think it's too bad for 72. I'm still doing pretty good at 72. I'm sure enjoying this scanning, I'm telling you that. I enjoy my printing too. I never in my life thought I would be in a position where I'm just constantly thinking about things to scan and print. I'm trying to learn to use the software. I made a little bit of progress in Mesh Lab this evening. I was able to snip out a piece of a file that had been that had been bugging me for some time. One of my little scanned hands, my hand, my sculptures that I did way back in 2000 when I was in the hospital when I nearly died. <clears throat> but I try to show you the detail here. Um, get the angles. If any of you want the uh, the actual file, so you can look at it in your own computer, that's fine. I can send it to you. Just let me know. But that one there, that one's kind of jacked up. I think I jerked <clears throat> right at the wrong time, and I went ahead and processed it anyway. Just more of the stampings. I think it's kind of neat. It captures such a thin layer. You can see it on the back side. See all those little punch areas there that are punched in and formed by machine. And of course, I'm not a professional, so I don't know if I'm looking at quality or not. I'm just presenting what I can, the best I can for you guys. I hope that shows you something you can use. Uh, if not, send me a comment and I'll try to get something you can use. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.